I'm Jasmine Thomas Ganey, and you're tuned in to the Animal Animation Show. Awesome introduction, Jasmine. So you get to start us off. Tell us who you are and how you are innovating and helping animals. I make fresh preservative-free dog trees. I started my business when I was 10, but I originally came up with the idea when I was nine. So I've been in business for about four years-ish now, and the business is growing more than I ever thought it would. Take us back to that point, Jasmine. You were you were sitting around playing with your dog and you said, you know, I could make better dog treats. Yeah, I um, I grew up baking with my grandma. Um, we would always be cooking and baking together, but I also have always had a really strong love for dogs. So I kind of just thought one day, thought about it one day, and I kind of just put the two together and I got dog treats. That's awesome. <laughs> now you went to your mom's and you said, I want to I have a business. I want to do dog treats. And what did they tell you? Their original response was like, they... I was nine, so they didn't think I was like serious about it. If any nine-year-old were to come up to you and say, I want to start a business, it wouldn't be a full-on like, yes, right away. Right. So I actually came up to them at the beginning of the year in 2019. Like that was the original ask. And then they said no so, to see if I actually wanted to do it. So I kept asking throughout the year. And then for my 10th birthday, they, my birthday gifts, was a dehydrator, a bag sealer, bags, and molds for dog treats. So that was the start. So like around Christmas time, 2019 to 2020, um, that New Year's, uh, they wanted me to come up with a business plan. So I did, I talked about profit margins and how the treats would be made. I came up with three original recipes. And from there, we just kept building on and that's where we are today. That's what I think is so cool about you is all of this is you, right? You came up with the business plan and you came up with the, the actual recipes, how did how do you even come up with recipes for dog treats? It was definitely harder than I thought it would be. Um, I started with me looking at um, other recipes online and then taking components from different recipes and mixing them together and then testing them out for a long time. And then finally we figured out like the right uh, portions and the right ingredients. And then from there, we are we were able to like substitute things to um, make them preservative free and to make them last longer, but also make them healthy and make them so dogs actually like them and enjoy eating them. So now you came up with a recipe. They bought you the bags and the molds and all this. You tested out a bunch of samples. And then how did you go about even selling this? My Etsy shop started, I think, maybe like the same month. So in March of 2020, right when quarantine hit and we all went on lockdown, I opened my Etsy store and then from there everything just took off. I was getting a lot of orders um, and people like were basically just like surprised that I was actually doing this because my family had of course heard me talking about it but this was kind of just the first time that they actually like saw it happen. So my Etsy has always been open and then over the summer I go to markets and I sell in person which is a really nice experience for me because I'm able to connect and interact with the customers and they're able to see me and hear like my story, which I really enjoy. Is it hard for you to keep up and then balance out with everything else going on? It's definitely harder than I assumed it would be, but I get so much support. I get so much help that really helps and it affects like my attitude about it. Cause if I didn't get the support that I got, I definitely don't know if I'd still be doing this after sure. these past few years, but my mom's had been an amazing help. They both have like their own kind of jobs when it comes to the business. One does like the numbers and the other does the baking. Um, and I try to help with both, which definitely can get time consuming, but I, it pays off. I was gonna say, it sounds like you've learned to to manage upward, right? They're, they're like your first two employees. Yeah, they're my unpaid employees. That's what they call themselves. There you go, that's great. Now I have to ask you, I have five cats and they're wanting to know when are you gonna make some cat treats? That's the biggest question I get. 
It's definitely something that I've been thinking about. It's in the works, it is. The dog treats, a lot of people actually do get them for their cats. I've gotten a few reviews, I've even had people use my treats on horses. And so they're kind of versatile when it comes to pets. So what's next? I mean, where do you want to go with this business? Is this something you want to continue to grow for a while? I definitely want to continue doing it while I um, go through high school. I'm in seventh grade right now. That's definitely something I want to continue doing. And then from there, I really want to keep doing shipments to stores. We're looking for a commercial kitchen right now. It's been a really tough hunt. That's like one of the biggest goals right now. We just finished the website. So there's a lot happening, but my biggest goal is the commercial kitchen and continuing to grow the business throughout high school. Well, Chaz, and this is really cool. I'm super excited for you. I mean, it, it sounds like such a journey. Why don't you tell everybody where they can find the treats, you know, Etsy, website, all those things. Um, my Instagram and Facebook is Doggy Dog Treats by Jazzy. My Etsy is Doggy Dog Treats by Jazz, and then you can find my treats in Woodlands Pet Food and Treats, and then my website is Doggy Dog Treats by Jazzy.com. As I wrap up, if somebody's watching, listening, if they have an idea, we would love to have you on the show to talk about it. So maybe you've been sitting on it, thinking about it, going, oh, I have a great idea to help my dog, my cat, or any animals, or the people that love them. Just go to innovations.show, and just like Jazzy, we will have you on the show. And of course, we always need more volunteers at Dubert.com. You can be a foster, a transporter. Uh, you can order your pet food through Dubert and we'll donate 5% to the rescue or shelter of your choice. So check it out at Dubert.com. Jasmine, thank you so much for coming on. I really enjoyed it. And I'm waiting to see how big this thing's going to get. Thank you so much for having me.